So these are the wings that we offer with the S-Tech line. We've got a 60 pound wing. That's what you'd want to use with, with heavy steel tanks, 95s, 104s, 120s, uh, steel cylinders that would be used for technical diving for long range exposures, deeper dives, people diving in really cold water that want to have the, the added negative ballast. Then we have our 40 pound wing. The 40 pound wing is a, our universal wing. It can be used for a single tank. Again, if you were using a heavier steel cylinder and you needed more lift, you could use this with our single tank adapter, our pro or pure harness but it also would work fine with a set of double eighties, something where you have a lightweight cylinder because it's aluminum, doesn't have that much negative ballast. In fact, as you guys know, the aluminum cylinders tend to shift and get slightly positive as they get lower. So for those Mexico cenote dives or so your ocean dives, 150 foot and shallower ocean dives where you're not gonna need that much gas, but you would want to have a lighter weight set of cylinders, this is ideal. So the forties for steel single tank or for a double aluminum cylinders. And then of course we have our 30 pound wing, which is a single tank only wing. So this is the offering from Scuba Pro now with the S-Tech giving you exactly what you would need to go from a brand new diver with a plate, a wing and a single tank adapter and be able to learn to scuba dive in this system and then be able to advance to if you started buying your own cylinders and decided to buy a steel cylinder. Only thing you'd need to do is if you went to a heavier tank would be to buy a different wing, your plate and your single tank adapter would work fine. And then if you got into technical training, started diving double cylinders, then your plate and your 60 pound wing would work or your 40 for aluminums. You just wouldn't need to use your single tank adapter for double tank diving. You would save that for when you went back to one of these wings and did your single tank diving again. As we know, all technical divers still do single tank diving. So that's the beauty of this system is it lets you have a platform that will modulate and will go, grow with you as your diving grows. You can go from single tank, single tank steel diving or aluminum 80s to double tank steel diving for cave diving, wreck diving, things of that nature. The wings are, are very well made. These wings are 1000 D denier outside and then we have a 500 denier uh, bladder on the inside. One of my favorite things about our wings is, is as part of the Scuba Pro Cares initiative, we're using what's called dope dyed yarn. That means that instead of having white yarn that then we later have to dye that with a dye that's going to make it uh, black and then eventually with, with wear and tear and sun and ozone and possibly chlorine, that's gonna to start to fade off and you're gonna start seeing white come through. This is actually down to the thread. This is dope dyed from the factory when they're making the actual thread. So then when they weave that and make the material, it's already black at the core. So it's also a much, much more environmentally friendly process. So a part of the Scuba Pro Cares, you'll notice all of our products are coming in recyclable cardboard, and we're looking at every little aspect, for instance, the dope dyed yarn. So the dope dyed yarn is going to make this look handsome much, much longer. It's also going to make sure that you have a very strong, environmentally friendly product that's in the design. We've got a heavy duty bladder. We've gone with our side mount low profile shoulder attachment. This has the ability to swivel, but it's really low profile. So when you're using doubles where you've got a lot going on behind your neck with multiple hoses and two first stages, you don't have a big bulky uh, elbow setting here. We've got our corrugated hose and our corrugated hose goes through this guide and that keeps it from be having a chance of getting back here behind your wing. And then we took one of the corrugations out and we actually put in a little silicone band that's got an S on it so that when we're running our low pressure inflator hose, we can run it through here then come down and once the inflator is through the epaulette, then we can hook it on. So the low pressure inflator and the corrugated hose are kind of one together utilizing this band and using utilizing our epaulette that we have on the back plate. This is our brand new Scuba Pro designed inflator. This is designed, engineered, everything by Scuba Pro. It's what's called a K style that's very common. You can see it's shaped like a K, and but it's very common in technical diving to use this type of inflator. We went with with the original Scuba Pro blue buttons to make it easy to identify as being our S-Tech inflator. You're able to orally inflate, you're able to power inflate, you're able to dump, and you can turn this mouthpiece if you wanted to inflate orally like this, or if you wanted to turn it this way and go. So very nice hose, streamline, ability to, to secure your low pressure hose. This is a completely rebuildable, both 
the Oro Inflate and the Power Inflate so you can rebuild this and part of the technical training with Scuba Pro is now teaching our technicians how to repair these and service these. So we also have a low profile back dump. The back dump is, is low profile meaning it's very thin so as the, the wing is inflating you don't have to worry about it being bulky getting caught on other equipment. It comes with the pull dump and a, and a string so that you're able to use it. This is a CE standard. Some people remove this and just use the string, but from the factory, all manufacturers ship these with the, the, the ball for easy ease of finding it. This has a spring in it, and it allows you to be able to let the, dump, the air out as a dump. The primary position in technical diving is for the diver to stay nice and flat like this and to have their, their legs up and bent so that the turbulence coming off their fins doesn't get near the reef or near the silty bottom of the the wreck or the cave or things like that. So that means the air is going to be in this area. So this is the easiest way to be able to let some gas out. Just a slight head down, the gas will come to this corner and you can pull this slightly and let the gas out versus having to roll, get the air to come to the top, come up to the inflator and get to here. Of course you can still use the deflate for submerging, ascending, and whenever you're needing to go lock up a companion way in a wreck. No, no issues with using this, but most of the time while we're diving, we're kind of going in this position and it's a lot easier to use this back dump. So you'll hear this referred to as a primary dump oftentimes, and that's because it's what's primarily used. We're using YKK zippers. The zipper stop goes down inside a little spacer here. You can unzip this and the bladder is removable, can be repaired or replaced. And we've actually added a grommet, something really new and, and kind of cool, is we've added a grommet at the top to kind of mimic the two grommets we have at the bottom. Because we have a permeable outside bladder and a non-permeable inside bladder, water does get between, especially with the zipper, water gets between these two bladders. So when you walk into the water, water is going to get between these two and also air. So right here I'm going to have air in it. So as I start to go down and get in the water, say I'm right here at the quarry and I'm walking in, I'm going to start seeing some bubbles behind my neck. Well, one of the things we do in technical diving is we always check our buddy to make sure we don't have anything leaking that could possibly fixing to become a failure. A hose that's maybe leaking or frayed or a regulator that needs to be serviced that's leaking. So we do what's called a bubble check before we submerge. It's a good idea on every dive just to take a look behind your buddy's neck where all the uh, configuration of their uh, gas supplies going on and look and see well lots of times the air will be seeping out of the the wing and it's really hard to see if it's actually leaking or if it's just gas getting out of the wing so this grommet's going to let that gas come out really quickly so you can determine that you don't have a problem with the regulator that was just air getting out between the bladders at the same time when we finish diving and we're walking back to the car there's a lot of water that gets between these bladders we have these two grommets to let the water drain out so you're not taking a bunch of your salt water or quarry water or ocean water and sticking it in your in the back of your car or in your dive bag. So a lot of things that we thought about to make this where it's the, the ultimate configuration, reinforced spine in the middle with our 11 inch center stainless steel grommets. So you have your 60 pound bladder, you have your 40 pound bladder, your 30 pound bladder, and of course you can start out as a new diver with your back plate, your single tank adapter, and your 30, and you can evolve all the way up to your 60 pound with technical diving. They all have the 1,000 denier external bladder, 500 denier internal bladder with our new blue button S-Tech uh, high performance power inflator. And all this works together and you can progress with your diving with the Scuba Pro uh, S-Tech Donut Wings.